Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you introduction to database relationship. Once again, I repeat the topic introduction to database relationship. First, let me see the objectives. The objectives are what is a relationship? What are the types of relationship? Examples for relationship. Once again, I repeat the objectives. What is a relationship? What are the types of relationship? An example for relationship. First, let me check out what is a relationship. A relationship works by matching data in a key column. They usually column with the same name in both tables. So, how the relationship works? The relationship works by matching key columns. So, whenever you are creating a table, you should have a key column in such a way that it can be linked or the relationship can be established by using key columns. Usually, column with same name in both tables. How to rule it? So, if you have same column names in both tables, it can be linked or related. In most cases, the relationship matches the primary key from one table which provides a unique identifier for each row with an entry in foreign key in another table. So usually in most cases the relationship can be established by using primary key and foreign key. So what is the use of primary key? The primary key which provides a unique identifier as well as foreign key which is used to relate a redirect to a primary key. A relationship exists between two database tables when one table has a foreign key that refers to the primary key of another table. So whenever you say there is a relationship between two tables, two database tables, if one table has the foreign key, that foreign key will refer to the primary key of another table. So what are the types of relationships? There are several types of database relationships. Today we are going to cover one-to-one -one relationship, one-to-many relationship, many-to-one -one relationship, and many-to-many -many relationships. So how many types of relationships are there? One-to-one -one relationship, one-to-many relationship, and many-to-one -one relationship, and many-to-many -many relationship. First, let me teach you what is one-to-one -one relationship. One-to-one -one relationship occurs when there is exactly one record in the first table that corresponds to exactly one record related table. So if you have two tables, in case of one to one relationship, the first table will have exactly one row or one record which matches with the other table with only one record. If it is so, the criteria is called as one to one relationship. In one to one relationship, each row in one database is linked to one and only other row in another table right that is one and one you can see one row is linked to one row on another table so now we are going to see an example we are going to create a two tables the first table name is tbl customer with the following design we are going to have three fields customer id data type is number and customer name the data type is short text and address id the data type is number and key is going to be the primary key and second table we are going to create with the name called as tbl address with the following data fields one is address id and next one is address the address id is a number is the key is going to be the primary key and next one is address the data type is going to be short tax and field size is 50. now we are going to create these two tables database tables and we are going to link this two table. In order to achieve this task, we should open Microsoft Access 2013 or 2010. How to open? Go to Start, All Programs, and Microsoft Office, and click on Access 2013 or 2010. Once again, I repeat these steps. Go to Start, go to All Programs, go to Microsoft Office, and click on Microsoft Access 2013 and click blank desktop data uh, blank desktop database and provide a name 
ahora es 1 2 1 and click create so when you click create the id will be open with the default table table 1 just select the table and go to design view in order to design it when you click on design view it will ask for the table name first time provide the table name as db customer and click ok so now we want to design the table the first column our first field name is going to be the cust id so where you can see this key is called as the primary key the cust id is going to be customer id is going to be the number anyway the field size is long integer and next one is cust name that is a customer name it is going to be a short text and the field size is 20 and next one is address id and it is going to be the number and long integer now i'm going to do some changes so i'm going to remove the primary key from cust id and i'm going to insert the primary key to address id how to do this so just right click and remove the primary key and just right click you can insert the primary key right or else just click and here is the primary key to insert or to remove you can use the same and once the table has been created just click save in order to save it and close it and now we are going to create one more table so how to create one more table go to create and click on table in order to create a new table when you click on create you can able to see a new table table 1 has been created just select the table right click go to design view and name the table as tb address and click ok so now the first field name is going to be address id and it's going to be the number and anyway it's a primary key and next one is address so address is going to be the short text and field size 50 so once all the task has been completed save this and close it so now we have created two tables now we want to create a relationship between these two tables so how to create a relationship between these two tables okay so just go to database tools just click on database tools where you can able to see the relationship once again i repeat the steps go to database tools just click on relationship in order to create or establish the relationships and select the two tables and click add and close so now you can see the two tables are in the relationship so how to create a relationship just select you can see the address id and address id the same column name or field name and both the address id here are both our primary key so just click this address id drag it and drop it on this address id when you do so you can able to see in window edit relationship where you can able to see the tb address address id and tb customer the address id both column are having the same name just click enforce referential integrity and click create so now you have created the one to one you can see the one to one relationship has been created between these two tables now you want to generate the report how to generate the report so just click relationship report in order to create the report so now you have created the report and just save it you can give any name save it now you have created the report and just save the relationship so now our now our task has been completed i think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank you